Okay, let's have a look at how to set up um, set up ignition timing when you've taken the distributor out, maybe done an engine rebuild. Um, <laughs> done what I did. <laughs> or take the distributor out and forget to mark where it was. Or not yeah, they, right all, the, all the best of us have our bad days. <laughs> right, it's, it's dead simple. Um, you just have to know the steps, really. Um, first thing to do is find TDC on number one cylinder. Bring in mind there are two crankshaft notches, so, well, we'll get to that anyway. So take out number one spark plug, drop a screwdriver down there, and you've got to be careful with this. Now I've got 36 mil socket on the crankshaft nut. We've got the exhaust off at the moment. You have to be careful when you're doing this that you don't trap the screwdriver with the piston in the bore. That can be quite damaging. So what I usually do is just lift it gently, drop it, keep dropping it down. And then you'll find the point at which it stops moving. Look at the crankshaft pulley and you'll find very close, you'll find the timing mark. Um, which is easy to find with your finger now. I don't know if you can catch that up on the camera too too well, but it's uh, it's actually there. There's a notch. Uh, yeah. Now screwdriver can come out. You can forget about that for a moment. And what you need to do is move the that notch on the pulley so that it lines up with the notch that's cut on the right of the timing plate, which is there. Right. Here we go. Now you can see we've got. Oh, the mark on the pulley lined up with the right hand mark on the timing plate which means that number one cylinder is at top dead centre. Right, next thing to do is to make sure that we're at top dead centre number one firing stroke because uh, we're not necessarily at the, um, we're not necessarily, we might be at the top of the exhaust stroke, beginning of the induction stroke or we could be at firing stroke, we need to be on firing stroke which you can find out by taking the rocker cover off and watching the behaviour of the rocker arms. However, a much easier way to do it, well, I don't know if you can actually catch the valve, but you don't need to watch it. What you need to do is stick your finger in there and turn the engine to the right. And if after a quarter of a turn, half a turn, the valve hasn't moved, it means that you are in top dead centre firing stroke, yep. which we are indeed. So I now need to turn the engine back to line those marks up again. If, however, it did move, just keep turning until you come all the way back round again. Um, I just want to triple check, because I'm always paranoid about this sort of thing, that the piston is actually at the top, and it is absolutely at the top there. The only thing, the only reason is that there's a second mark on here which actually corresponds to number five cylinder, and you've got to be careful that you don't mix them up. Right, next thing. So now we're ready to put the distributor in. Right, Mark, can you have a look at the top of this distributor and I want to point out yep. that mark there. there. Can you catch that? I've got that. I'll zoom in. Here we go. Right. It might seem fairly not, not very obvious in the video but in fact if you run your fingernail around it you'll find it immediately. It's just a very specific notch that's been cut into the body. Now what you need to do is drop the distributor in such that, it, such that the rotor arm lines up roughly with that notch once the distributor is fully seated. And I know from experience that when you drop it in, the rotor arm spins to the right. I'll say that with confidence. Right you are. <laughs> so let's drop the distributor in. And as it catches on the camshaft, no, nope, it turns to the left. <laughs> That's my experience. Catch the, the tooth. Now, now, although I could line it up there, and that's pretty much lined up, it gives me no adjustment. We need to get the lockdown stud in, in somewhere in, in this crescent here. So if I went too far the other way, for example, again, you could just about line it up, but it gives you no adjustment. There is a happy spot getting it in the right tooth. No, nope, we've gone too much the other way. So now we go to the next tooth round. There we go. Now, I have to know, again, from experience, he says confidently, that I'm going to have to adjust to advance the timing. Now, you advance the timing by pulling the distributor around this way. In fact, if you look on there, you've got a witness mark where the thing used to sit. Yep. Not that that's any guarantee, but you can you can know that you'll be in the right ballpark well, within yeah. a couple of degrees either side of a fine adjustment. So I think we're ready to uh, put the nut and washer down on that, and uh, but not to tighten it up. Well, that's how you uh, set the distributor position.